Emmanuel, God is with us. Emmanuel, God is with us. Let's check up on the tulips we planted in these pots. There's a my Christmas cabbage. They're growing just fine. We'll look over here. Forcing technique. Oh, looks like somebody might be about to bloom soon. Oh, they're getting it in. Probably need to give them some fertilizer. Um, let's see how the bulbs are doing that we planted with um, our succulents. Everybody's coming along. We'll have flowers in no time. Look at that. And um, we see that the work by the squirrel to create the squirrel liking to eat this um, disease off the balls working great too she took a bite where the, the disease was and she left the rest because she's feeling tulip rich you know she's a she's the only squirrel i got left because we got coyotes and mountain lions and bears and so she hangs here and um she's feeling like a wealthy squirrel so she's doing it. The plant is working. There's some wheat that I need to get planted. And there are my flowers growing underneath it. Oh my goodness. Decisions, decisions, gotta go. So let's see here. Um, I planted this for a Christmas display. Um, but I have to say to you, happy Valentine's Day. This is Minerva. Isn't she bright and cheery? She would have been gorgeous for Christmas, but she came for um, Valentine's Day. And she is planted with this lovely little creature here. This is Golden Sore. And it is a yellow and orange paper white. I really like the contrast there. You know, vibrant, alive, very fun that was the look i wanted for christmas but i think red and white is still good look for um valentine's day let me know what you think the tulips here that are growing with succulents the forced tulips with succulents and i think this particular succulent is very popular on the east coast so if you have it it is a good companion plant for your um spring bulbs you know do something different have some fun I'm in Southern California, so it's a no-brainer for me. Here, I'm growing beets <laughs> with my tulips. And looks like they're coming along. Some of them have a few problems. Looks like they're pulling through. Um, I see my um, lettuce is doing fine over here. And um, this didn't do so well for me. That's a violas. I didn't have the right conditions for violas, so I won't do those anymore. I'll stick with succulents or something like that. But the bulbs are doing great. Peas are coming up. Onions are growing fine. Yeah, those are real onions growing there amongst the bulbs. And you see there's no confusion this way. Looks great. Um, there's bulbs over there, but those have been recently planted, so I don't think we'll see anything. The shishi toe held her winter um peppers and those are paper whites i don't know if it's enough sunlight for me to get those i might have to switch to some um shade bulbs in that area and that's dutch iris they come up every year but i don't know that they're gonna flower let's see if the aloe flowers in that spot here is my um parsley which has taken over the pot Underneath the parsley are bulbs, but they're newly planted, so there's nothing to see there. I do cut neat the parsley and the basil pretty regularly, so stuff to show up. And there's the sweet potatoes that I didn't harvest this year, which I should have. Um, there's bulbs in all of these pots, but I think they're too newly planted to matter. And I just switched my cana to that pot, but um, it's I'm having it die back for the winter and it's refusing to go you can see the tulips in this pot are coming forward i need to put the dirt on the pot and angle the pot so that the tulip doesn't grow crooked like that although it's not 
a bad thing, I guess. Um, here's another Merry Christmas, Happy Valentine's. This is my other display that I planted for um, Christmas. And this is actually the Merry Christmas Amaryllis. Looking gorgeous. One has already flowered. And these are more of the Sole Dior um, paper whites. But they are actually planted underneath this bulb. And so they had to um, move out of the way. This bulb doesn't have a good root system. Oh, it's just now rooting in. But so they grew around the bulb. And I've put a few succulents there so they could grow up because the oregano didn't make it but the succulents are just fine oh there's a bulb that maybe if i do it that way it can get going a little faster so i should have a spring bulb show coming up pretty soon happy valentine's and these are good valentine's colors too so yeah that's working out well and this beautiful white here i really like this this is the Merry, this is called Merry Christmas. So that just lets you know when this is, you're, you're supposed to force this and get it to bloom. I am leaving the seed pods on here because I like the look of it. You guys who want to cut stuff down. I'm in Southern California. Anything that's willing to survive in my area and do and have any kind of life and greenness and oxygen, I, I have to appreciate that. I don't have a lot of weeds and it's a good thing because I'm not the gardener that does a whole lot of weeding um i actually comb that grass that's a sedge i comb it down and let stuff grow through it okay so that's where we are and then we have our bulbs there um this pepper which i planted last year over winter even though we hit freezing temperatures it actually went to seed when we got down to freezing and held the flowers. It didn't drop a flower. So I'm very curious to know, oh my goodness, it has a pepper. It set a pepper at freezing. Now we just barely hit freezing. So it was like 32 and it was only at night, but this thing set a pepper at freezing. These are carrots. And this is a uh, lemon basil, which also, once it goes to flower, it'll just stay going to flower. Uh-oh. I hope my carrot isn't going to flower. <laughs> it may be. Well, if my carrot goes to flower, because it didn't get big enough, but if it goes to flower, okay, I'll just have to, you know, harvest carrot seeds instead of... Um, carrots and we have some probably some cilantro in there too and again you see i have my spring bulbs happily growing instead of it growing in dirt they are growing in um vegetables let me see over here uh doesn't look so great the vegetables are doing great but the tulips are covered in some kind of fungus and um, I don't know if they'll grow with that. If I see that they won't grow with that, squirrel's trying to eat it. As I trained her to, so she's trying. But like this one right here, it doesn't look like it's going to make it. Oh, no, it has a, it, it looks like it might flower. I'll leave it. Because the squirrels at work, but she can only eat so much. This is lettuce. She's biting off, but she's getting full. See how she's biting off the um, the mossy parts? It's actually good protein for her. <laughs> and she's discovered it, and she's pretty happy about the discovery. How is my um, radish looking? It's looking pretty good. The squirrel's been eating the little radish leaves, too, when she comes over here. See how she bites them off? Okay, let me see. If anybody looks like it's not going to make it. Yeah, this one's gone. It's not going to flower. It's given up. See, it's being completely overtaken. 
So we'll let that one go. Got geranium in there. This geranium is a water hog. But the onions are doing fine. These are Villa Gamme. They are the onion that can take the most water of any onion. <laughs> and the radishes are doing great. I will sprinkle more radishes in here because I like radishes. Lettuce are doing great. Let's see what else we got going on here. Everybody else is fine, fine. Huh. Let's see, do I need to plant these out yet? No, not yet. Y'all yeah, leave me some tips if you got some. Leave me a comment if you don't have a tip. These are my cabbages. I got some sweet peas I need to plant out. To my flower tray. I thought that was um, a marshmallow, but I'm not so sure now. I was sure that was a marshmallow, but I don't know what that is now. I don't know what any of this stuff is now. I got some seeds and I planted them and they are growing and I don't know what they are. I know a cabbage when it starts. These are cabbages. Oh, these are sweet peas that need to be put out as soon as the vegetables in the container are strong. I can put them. Oh, look at that lettuce. It looks like I can just harvest that one and go cilantro which i need to plant some more of so that's where i am the christmas show came for valentine's day and the spring show is underneath we're gonna keep it pushing hopefully our hopefully our spring bulb show is gonna be phenomenal we're running into some issues but you know some folks doing their thing and it looks lovely and these did go to seed i wonder if it was the hummingbird i didn't see the hummingbird near them but i do see some seed i don't think this one see i don't think that one didn't make seed that one didn't but these two did so yeah maybe it was a bumblebee you guys could a bumblebee um do this that's a big pollen thing I, and I don't see where they would. I don't know. But I know I have two seed packs. And they have to be fertilized, right? I don't know. My poor um, poinsettia didn't like all that rain. But she didn't die from it. And she still has her brackets out. And I think these are seed pods. They're so cute. I love them. Okay. So I think I'm just rambling now. But I wanted to give you a little update. So I was so excited about this. I think this is beautiful. And I hope I can do that every year. I like this color combination. So I'll have to. Is this pot big enough for them? I know that the amaryllis is fine in that pot. But I don't know about the paper whites. But I just, I've decided this yellow and orange with this red and white, that's a festive Christmas look that I want. Oh, and my um, petunias, these are um, Bush, Laura Bush petunias. They came back. I got to get some more seed from those or some other wild petunias. These have fragrance. I like that. So... I'm going to end on this. I think that's so beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six flowers on this one. Wonderful. I wonder if we're going to get any more. Maybe I'll fertilize it and try. Yeah. God bless you.